Many Christians can struggle with prayer, and sometimes it's made out to be something difficult when it shouldn't be. And as far as spiritual disciplines go, prayer is more talked about more than any other discipline, yet practiced less than all the others. Perhaps you can relate to that. We talk a lot about prayer at church and hear about the importance of praying in the messages that are preached, but that doesn't necessarily mean that we are actually doing it ourselves. At least that was the case for me growing up. I grew up in church and I heard all about prayer at church, but I never really did it. And the reason for this was because I didn't know the person I was praying to. I hadn't invited Jesus into my life and made a decision to follow him yet. I hadn't encountered God. But you know, when I did make that decision to invite him into my life, I did start to pray and my world changed forever. Did you know that prayer is our direct line of communication with God? It's a two-way conversation that is not just about us talking to God, but also about us listening to him and what he may be saying to us. Prayer can be like talking to your best friend or even like talking to your father. And it's intended to be this way because our faith with God is relationship based. When we invite Jesus into our lives, we can approach God just like a child approaches their father. In fact, Romans 8.15 says, when we have not received a spirit that makes us fearful slaves, instead we have received God's spirit when he adopted us as his own children. Now we call him Abba Father. Therefore, when we pray, we don't have to be fearful of God or think that he is far away. Rather, when we pray, we are communicating to our Heavenly Father who loves us, who is for us, and who wants to be in close relationship with us. I want to share with you three reasons why we pray. Firstly, we pray because God's words cause us to pray. Colossians 4.2 says, devote yourselves to prayer. We pray because the Bible tells us to do so. And as Christians, we want to be obedient to the word of God and follow his instructions for our lives. God's words cause us to pray. The second reason we pray is because prayer is how we communicate with God. This may be conversational, like I spoke about earlier when talking to your best friend or talking to your father. But prayer is also a way that we communicate our worship and praise to God and thank him for all he has done in our lives. It is through prayer that we as Christians are able to confess our sin and wrongdoings to God, which should lead to genuine repentance. It is also through prayer that we present our requests to God and surrender our needs to him. Prayer is how we communicate with God. Thirdly, prayer allows us to participate in God's works. It is a divine exchange meeting place with God where we partner with him to build his kingdom and see his world transformed for the glory of God. Now, just to be clear, God still acts without our prayers and his work will still be accomplished regardless of whether we pray or not. But God established prayer so that we can be included in his works and so that we can partner with him. When we pray, we join God in what he is doing by getting a glimpse of his heart and will for the world and for the people that live in it. And when we do this, our hearts align with his and his heart for the world becomes our heart for the world too. Amongst the chaos of our busy lives and all the things that fill our days, prayer can be one of the first things that we skip and ultimately throw aside. Yet God wants us to communicate with him. And we are told in 1 Thessalonians 5.17 to pray continually. We should make prayer a regular habit in our lives and something we do daily. And what that looks like is up to you. Perhaps it's about setting time aside each morning to pray out loud while you're getting ready for the day. Maybe for you it's praying silently while you travel to school or uni or work. Perhaps it's seeing something in creation and thanking God for it. Or coming to him for solutions to the problems that we face throughout the day. Maybe for you it's praying on your knees before you go to bed. It really doesn't matter where, when or how we pray. But what matters is that we do it. Can I challenge us today to prioritize prayer in our lives and make it something that we lead with and place at the forefront of our lives rather than something we throw to the sidelines. Let's make prayer the first thing we do when we wake up. Let's make prayer a rhythm of conversation with God throughout the day. And finally, let's make prayer the last thing we do before bed. When we prioritize prayer in our lives, we are prioritizing God. <laughs>